Hello friends, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we'll see part 13 of ServiceNow developer interview series. So without any delay, let's go to the first question. So the first question is, in workflow, what is the difference between a timer and wait for condition? So timer activity pauses the workflow for a specific period of time and timer will keep on evaluating after every interval while the wait for condition activity causes the workflow to wait at this activity until the current record matches the specified condition and it evaluates when current record gets updated. Now move to the next question. The next question is what is watermark in notification? So watermark is a system generated label at the bottom of each notification email to allow matching incoming email to existing records. Each watermark includes a random 20 characters string that makes it unique. The email watermark always begin with REF means ref to identify the label as a watermark. So I think when any mail sending from service now to your mailbox, so you will receive like for below of the every mail in the mail body, you will see some alpha numeric some characters will be there. So that will be the watermark only which will start with this REF. Now move to the next question. What is the use of generate activity in workflow? So the generate activity immediately creates task or approval records from any task or approval activities placed after the generate activity in workflow path. These pre-generated task and approvals starts when the task and approval activities are reached during flow execution. This allows a task to have a set of associated pre-generated sequential task or approvals but still require them to be completed in order. Now move to the next question. What is the difference between response and resolution SLA? So when you are saying your interviewer like you have worked on incident management. So definitely they will ask this question. What is the difference between response and resolution SLA? So that time you will tell whenever incident got created and assigned to some group then in how much time that incident got assigned to some person within the group is response time for the incident and the resolution time is how much time it took to give solution for the incident from the creation time to resolve time so basically like uh, we can in other words we can say that what is the time like a, uh, like a response SLA will be the time where a ticket will assign to some particular person and they will acknowledge it. That will be the response SLA and the resolution time from the incident got created till the result uh, result time. So that will be the uh, comes under the resolution SLA. Okay. Now move to the next question. So next question is. What kind of possibility if we get error code 401 or 404? So this question is related to the integration like uh, if we getting the status code 401 or 404. So what will be the error? What will be the possibility of error? So 401 error if we get there, there it means that user is not authorized to use this API. While if we get the error 404. It means that requested resource was not found. This can be caused by an ACL constraint or if the resource does not exist. Now move to the next question. So this is a bonus question. Can a scheduled job invoke an inactive business rule? So it means basically we are trying to ask can we call a inactive business rule in schedule job so it not possible but we can do the vice versa means we can call on demand schedule job from business rule or any 
sir uh, other server side script so same i have written like no but you can do vice versa invoke an on demand schedule job from a business rule or any server side script but not the opposite so in the last video i have asked what is the difference between utility and warranty so utility means functionality offered by a product or a service to meet a particular need while warranty means a promise or guarantee that a product or a service will meet its agreed requirements so basically this question related to your itil so if some interviewer will ask do you have a, a some do you have knowledge on itil so that time they will ask this type of question so that today's question is what is the sequence of publishing a knowledge article so if you know the answer please write in the comment box till that time thank you god bless you all